So, some of you may not know this, but uh, I actually used to partake in a Discord server. Hi IQ, really awesome by the way, I think you should go uh, follow their Twitch and subscribe to their YouTube and join their Discord. Amazing. I used to make icons in that server, and uh, I did it for like a long time. I created about a hundred icons, and one of the main questions that I got was, how was I making the icons? So uh, this is uh, going to be a tutorial on uh, how I made my icons. Now, I know what a lot of people do. Uh, a lot of people, they, they bring in a picture like this. Hello, so this is uh, Editor Puppy here, and um, I realized that I left some things out when I originally made this. So I have to go back and uh, insert some things that I missed. So uh, this video will no longer be one coherent uh, timeline. I'm going to have to insert some stuff. But uh, anyway, to start this off, you need to go to File, New. Change this to 512 by 512. Go to Advanced Options, go to Fill With, and change that to Transparency, and then click OK. And then this is going to be uh, where we start. And they take the paint bucket, they take the paint bucket and they go like this. There are a lot of reasons why I don't like this, and uh, one of the main reasons is if you start with a low resolution image, then you're getting an even worse version of that low resolution image. And uh, this, it just, it looks worse than this, because Paint Bucket is adding color. In places like this, it's getting rid of detail. So that's why I don't like doing that. Another thing I wanted to add here is uh, if I go to resize the image, because I don't like, um, because I want it to be centered, and uh, like a bigger image like this, then, if I paint bucket the image, that's red, uh, if I paint bucket the image, it looks even worse. Because now the image is sized up, and the pixels are being stretched, it's even more jagged than it was before. And so if you want to size up the image and you do it the way that I'm explaining in this video, then that won't happen. Uh, the image will be sized up, but the quality will uh, turn out better. Um, if you do want to do it that way, where you just do a paint bucket, then go to a different layer, paint bucket that layer, then just do a blend mode of lighten only, and it looks a lot better than just paint bucketing it. Now, that's also not what I do. So I create a new layer, and you don't have to be descriptive, but, uh, I just take this tool... Uh, which tool is it? I haven't done this in a while. The path tool. Uh, you just take this path tool and you go... Boom. And you just... you match it up. And although it takes a lot longer... I feel like you get a lot better of a result. Now, I know these are icons, and you don't really see the result when they're tiny. But it's just like... On some of the designs, you can notice the difference. And then just like... Fill path. Solid color. Fill. And then add a new layer, get a paintbrush with the circle, match the size, click, click, and then hide that layer, add a new layer, match the size to the inner circle click and then
erase and uh, put them into a group. And then just like, this is all I do. And then I just do that for the entire thing. Now it takes a long time, and that's one of the main reasons why I didn't do a lot of them very fast. But it just adds that level of detail that most people don't really care about. But I care about. So I make sure to add that level of detail. Now, more complex shapes like this car, I'll probably just draw. Because, like, pathing this whole thing out would be really hard. So I just, I take the brush. I move it down to the uh, square pixel. Make it quite small. Quite small. And I just, I zoom in and I just, I draw it. Now, do you need to be this precise when making an icon? No, but I like to. It gives it that, uh, personality, because, like, not a lot of people are going to take this amount of time to make icons this precise. So I think that's one of the main reasons why people liked my icons so much. Like, there's nothing particularly special about this. Anyone could do this. It's just, um, I took the time to, and not a lot of people are willing to take the time to do something like this. Because it does take a long, lot of time. Like, I was spending two to three hours making some of these icons. When, like, you could just look up an image online, paint bucket it white, it takes ten seconds. But this, I feel like it looks better, and even though... Um, most of the time you don't notice it, even when it's that small, you can tell, uh, the, the quality difference between just paint bucketing something and, like, going through all this detail. It's not very noticeable, but if, if you look at the icon, you can see a small difference. And Rocket League. Now, obviously, there are some blemishes. Things that would have to be smoothed out. But after that, you've got yourself an icon. And now there are probably some people who are like, there's no way you did that, like, actually for every icon, right? Well, allow me to show you something. Alright, here's another thing that I wanted to mention here. For icons like Fall Guys, this, when zoomed out as an icon, you cannot read it. So that's why for text, anything, usually anything, there are some things that work, but usually anything that involves text, I, I bring in a separate image like this, and I create an icon with that image instead. like this Fall Guys icon I made. This is a lot more readable 
far away than this is. Like, you can tell this is a Fall Guys bean when it's an icon, but when this is an icon, you can't really read what it says. So I just think this looks better, personally. But, uh, other people might disagree, but that's just what I feel. This is Dead by Daylight, one of the icons that I worked on. And, um, you can see how this... You cannot path this. You can you cannot path that. And, um, you certainly can't paint bucket that. So what did I do? I took the paintbrush, and I drew every single pixel. Why? I don't know. Because it looks good. <laughs> but yeah, I, I spent the time. This one took three hours. Uh, I spent the time to draw it as r close to the original as I could. And uh, it looks great. Like, obviously, you could paint bucket this. Like, let me take black and, like, paint bucket it. Paint bucket it. Like, you could, but it looks really bad. So instead of paint bucketing it like that... Because obviously... I didn't paint bucket it because then it would look awful in black. But uh, as you can see, it doesn't. It doesn't look awful in black because I did the same thing. I made sure the pic the pixels would be good because paint the paint bucket destroys quality. I I I I don't really like. When people use the paint bucket to make their icons, like the least you could do is is this. The, the the least you could do is that. Like, have a filter, lighten only. That's the least you could do. Just don't just just don't use the paint bucket. That's that's where I'm trying to get at. So here's the final icon. So since it didn't show in the recording before, I'll show it now. File. Export as, name it, the uh, uh, program name, and then the color. So this one will be Fall Guys White, for example. And then go to wherever you're saving, wherever you want to save it. I saved mine at uh, my icons folder. And then I would, and then I just hit export. Turn the compression level to zero. And then hit export. And then all I do is I file. Export as. And I don't know if this is showing on the recording, but basically it pops up an export image thing. And then I put, I type in rocket league white I save it to my icons folder and then I take it into a different program called pixeler when I do this but you could also do it in gimp I just I open a new tab I, for example, black, and I do multiply, and then there's the black icon, and it looks better than just paint bucketing it, because, like, here's what it looks like when just doing that, and here's what it looks like paint bucketing. Like, it just looks bad. You can see the, the jagged edges, everything, when you could just do this. And then boom, no jagged ed no jagged edges except for when I made it pixel perfect drawing. And I do file, export as Rocket League Black, and then I save it to Icons Black PNG export. And then that's it.
I also want to do a uh, huge thanks to uh, High IQ, who actually gifted me twenty five dollars for for doing these icons. I didn't ask for it, and I actually I I told him that I I didn't want him to. Like he told me that he was going to gift it to me, and I was like, oh, I can't take that. But he ended up convincing me to take it, and uh, I thank you very much. He is honestly an amazing guy, and you should definitely check him out. And so yeah, that's that was my tutorial, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching the video. If you made it this far and you've enjoyed it. Maybe consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Peace.